Hello artists, welcome to your cardinal painting class. In front of you, you should have your canvas, a cup of water, a large brush, a smaller brush, a paper towel, and then for your colors, you should have your red, your brown, your light blue, your paprika, which is kind of like that dark orange color, and then your black and your white. You do not need to pour out your colors onto your wax paper, but later on you will need to use it for mixing. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're gonna do is dip both of your brushes into your cup of water and stir them around and get everything nice and clean. So we have a nice clean set of brushes. Once you're done, just kind of gently pat them onto your paper towel. Our first step will be painting our light blue sky. So I'm gonna use uh, my large brush and my light blue. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of white on my brush. So I'll always have light blue and white on my brush whenever I paint the background. So I'm gonna start off to the right of the birdhouse right here. Make a line, come around the birdhouse a little bit more. Make a line and then underneath it. And again, this is all with my light blue and my white on my brush. I'll go back for a little bit more of each, so half and half. I'll continue to just kind of outline around my cardinal. At any point, if you feel like you need to switch to your smaller brush, you can. We're just kind of letting ourselves know where that light blue starts and stops with our outline. So we can go in there and paint all the background space. I'll make a big bubble around the two. All the way around. So again, nice big bubble. Helps me get nice clean lines around the birdhouse and the cardinal. And then once you are done with this outline, be sure you go over it and it's nice and smooth. And then you can start painting all that background space. Again, if you need to jump to your smaller brush for these smaller areas, you can. And I'm gonna be doing the same thing over and over again, grabbing a little bit of white, grabbing a little bit of blue, and then painting all that background space a light blue. And if you want it to be lighter, add more white. If you want it to be darker, add more blue. Just wanna be sure you're going the same kind of up and down motion. You feel like one side is darker or lighter than the other just choose a side you like better and again add white to it if you want it uh, lighter and blue to it if you want it darker just a little bit of both pat once in each color it's just me in the blue and then the white And if you're having a hard time having the two move together, you can always add a little bit of water, tap it on your paper towel. It's gonna go over the blue and white. That'll help it move a little bit easier. And if your brush accidentally catches some pencil marks, just kind of sweep it out and then wipe, uh, wipe it off on your paper towel. I also want to go over my outline a little bit so I don't see that harsh line. A little bit of light blue, a little bit of white. In a moment, I will start painting the four sides as well. You can come back and give it a second coat if you like. 
after you give your the front part of your canvas some time to dry, you can come back and give your light blue sky a second coat if you want it to look more solid. But if you want it to have a little bit more of like a watercolor light look, you can just give it one coat. That is absolutely up to you. Again, a little bit of light, a little bit of light blue. Making sure everything is nice and smooth. In just a moment, I will start painting the four sides. side to side on the bottom, side to side on the top, up and down on the left side and up and down on the right side. And if you are still working on the background, once I move on, no problem. Take your time, pause the video, no rush at all. the top part as well. So all four sides are done. All that space around the cardinal is done. Again, you can use your small brush if you need to kind of get around the smaller areas. You can do two coats if you want it to be more solid. You can just kind of keep with the one if you want it just a little bit lighter and softer. You can use your water to help move your paint too. Perfect. And then once you are done, you can wash and dry your big brush and we'll let our background dry and we'll kind of do a couple other areas before we build any branches or any of the berries on top uh, because we just do have to remember um, that if a wet color touches another wet color it's going to mix and blend and um, at this point we don't want our branches to be blending with our berries so we're going to kind of give the blue sky its space and um, let it dry on its own before we build anything on top. All right, the next thing I am gonna have everyone do to kind of stay away from any of the wet areas is take your small brush and your black paint, small brush, black paint, and I'm gonna have you paint two areas with black. The first is the heart shape, so you're just going to go over the outline and you can fill in with the small or the larger brush, whatever you feel more comfortable with. You want a nice solid heart shape. Again, you can do two coats of black if you can still see a lot of the canvas poking through and you want a solid look. Here's the heart. And then right to the left of the beak, I'm going to outline this triangular shape. 
Be very careful if that blue is still wet. You might want to give it another minute or two. And I'll go ahead and, and go in there with my small brush. And fill it in. And again, you can give it two coats if you like. Perfect. Do not wash your brush when you're done. So we're going to keep on using it for just a moment. With the small brush and the black paint, I'm going to go back for a little bit more. I am going to outline the birdhouse with a little bit of black on my brush. So I'll take the black, I'll tap it off with my paper towel, and I'm going to go over all the pencil lines with the black. Remember, the harder you push on your brush, the thicker the line becomes. And be very aware of any wet spots that you don't want it to blend with. It's a little bit of black. Once you're done, you can take your small brush and your black paint again and add just some sweeps coming down around the heart shape. And you'll have some maybe that are a little bit longer, some that are a little bit shorter. I'm just going to start creating that woodsy feel to it. Keep going. Don't cover up the whole space. Let's see, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, maybe 15 little sweeps. They're coming down, maybe 16. All right, and I can go back for a little bit more black. Maybe tap some on your paper towel. I'm gonna go in there and add where from eight to 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I don't wanna really fill in that, um, that completely. I wanna still see some of that white space peeking through. Once you're done, you don't have to clean your small brush but you're going to go straight into the brown. So don't clean your small brush, go straight into the brown. And you are going to go over your black paint um, for your outline. But before you do, just kind of pat some off onto your paper towel. I'm just going to sweep some brown. It's okay if you get some outside of it because I'll build some snow in just a moment. But I put a little bit of brown tap some off on my paper towel and I'm going over that black outline just to kind of make it a little bit less harsh. And I'm following that trail. A little wet spot on the canvas there, it's okay. You can go back and kind of touch it up. And Kind of moving in choppy short motions, not really long smooth lines, just little sweepy lines. And once you're done, you can go back to more brown and maybe add 15, 16 more lines going up and down. Try to fill in some of the white space. And same on the left side. About 10. And it's okay if the brown and black touch. And then without cleaning my brush, I'm going to dip my small brush into the white. Find a nice clean area of white. And then same as I did before. And again, it's okay if the, the white paint touches the brown and black paint. I would probably do the same amount in each go back for more if you need to. All right. A little more here and there. Once you have most of the left side and the right side painted. You don't have to clean your small brush, put it off to the side because you might want to go back to it in just a moment. 
but I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my big brush, tap it on the paper towel about 10 times, and then I'm just gonna sweep over these three, the black, the brown, and the white. It's okay if it goes into the heart shape a little bit. We'll clean that up in just a moment. And if you feel like once we have added water to it, if it's a little bit too dark, you can go back to your white. If it's a little bit too light, you can go back to your brown or black. I'm just kind of adding some water on top and sweeping on top of these three. And keep that brush moving. You don't want to be in the same spot over and over again. Again, it's okay to go over the heart. We'll touch that up in just a moment. Just kind of flicking my brush and sweeping. You can even sweep up. And same on the left side, some water. Then go over it. I'm just kind of having those three work together a little bit better. Into those white spots there too. those little areas right there and you can take the excess like anything extra on your big brush wipe it off on your paper towel and just almost like a dry brush just add a little bit of that brown on the roof I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit but I'm gonna go back and touch it up in just a moment so I'll put my big brush to the side after I'm done adding some water to it I will wash and dry off my small brush. I'm going to go back with a little bit of brown and a little bit of black on my small brush. Maybe even tap some off. And I'll clean up those edges just a little bit more. And I'm just kind of sweeping on top of those. If you see any white space, go ahead and cover it up. sweep and just kind of clean up all these lines a little bit more. All right. I'm going to wash and dry my brush. I'm going to go into that black heart shape a little bit more. Give it another coat. If yours is already a solid black, you don't have to, but you do wanna kinda of clean up the sides and make sure you have a nice shape to the heart. So I've added my sweeps, I've added some water. I went over my brown and black to kinda of clean up the sides and I'll go back into this shape a little bit more too. Uh, after it's a little bit more dry, we add a little bit more black right here. I'm just going to touch it up a little bit. And while I have black on my brush, I think I will go over this one more time so it looks a little bit more clean. As I'm letting my treehouse dry, I'm gonna wash and dry my small brush. And with my bigger brush, I'm gonna start adding some snow on top of uh, the treehouse. So make sure your brush, uh, big brush is really cleaned off all the way around. And then you'll go into the white, maybe tap some off. 
and then kind of go on top of this area a little bit. And just kind of sweeping down with it. Mine still looks a little bit too brown. So I might go back a little bit later and give it another coat of nice clean white paint. And kind of white it out. I do want a little bit of brown in there to make it look rustic. But if it looks a little bit too dark, go back, let it dry, and um, build just white on top of it. Also on the right side, maybe a little bit more white, tap it on your paper towel. There's white sitting on the right side of the roof. Right, so the white, tap some off so you don't have too much on there. And you just kind of build some on top. so and again in a couple minutes I'll go back and kind of work on that area a little bit more it's getting a little bit bright, more bright I just feel like it's still too wet so we'll hold off on that I'm going to hold off on my birdhouse for just a moment, and it is going to look kind of watery, but we'll go in there with some more sweeps. It's kind of like the base, and then we're going to just work up a little bit more. All right, our next step is going to be with our small brush and our red paint. We're going to go in there and start painting our cardinal. So small brush, red paint. And if you're still working on the roof of your birdhouse or your birdhouse in general, just, uh, just go ahead and push pause on the video. Take your time. But again, small brush, red paint. I'm gonna go over the wing and make sure that blue is nice and dry. Kind of outline the body. Where the pencil is, be careful if that black paint is still wet. I'm just going to sweep over this top part. Then I'll come down. And then later on, to get rid of some of the pencil lines, you can do two things. You can go back and give it another coat to build on top of it. Or if it's still peeking through, you can let it dry, let the red dry, put white paint on top of it to white it out. Let the white dry and then build the red back on top. So there's a nice clean outline so I can keep the shape nice and clean. I can wash and dry this brush. And then I'll just go into, go into the red with my big brush. Make sure it's not dripping off of there. And then I'm just going to sweep inside the wing with a little bit of a curve to my brush, but curve going down. Again, you could, I would definitely do two coats to get good coverage, especially over the pencil lines. You might even want to do three to get that red a little bit darker if it's still a little bit too pink. Start slowly moving up. Sweep my way up around the shape of the belly. I think I might switch to my smaller brush when I get closer to those smaller areas. I'm just kind of drag my brush down here. Maybe a little bit more this way. There we go. And then I'll switch to my small brush. And while you're letting that dry before you put another coat on top, you can wash and dry your small brush really well. And the beak, this is where you'll definitely need to mix 
your beak is a little bit of this paprika orange, which is a little too dark, and a little bit of white. So that paprika orange, a little bit of white. Let's see if we can get it just a little bit darker. If you want that beak to be darker, add more of that paprika orange. If you need it to be lighter, add white as a tint and make it lighter. And always wipe off the sides of your brush before you go on there after mixing so you don't have big clumps of paint. I'm gonna go in there and outline and fill in. Later on, we're gonna add a little bit of snow on top of the beak too. So if you feel like it got too big, I feel like mine got a little bit wobbly right there, but you'll be able to build snow on top of it. Touch this up one more time on here. While I wait for things to dry, I usually mess with other areas or clean up other areas, give areas another coat. And go back to that red, give it another coat. I'll let that dry for a little bit longer. I think I might even want a third coat on that. So I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna really clean my brush at this point because I do wanna go back and add white snow on the left side again. I can even wrap my big brush with my paper towel, make sure all that red is off my big brush and then jump back to my white and make that roof a little bit lighter. And use a little bit of water to get that movement a little bit more. feels a little bit too muddy for me so I might go back give it another coat in a bit all right while I am letting the bird dry before I put anything else on top of it I think I'm going to go back and finish up my woodsy area on my birdhouse so once you're done again um we have a nice space but I do want you to start kind of building on top of it a little bit more I do want you to not kind of go backwards. I want you to start with your big brush, add a little bit of white, tap it on your paper towel. I want you to add some sweeps of white with your big brush. Not as many, but a little bit here and there. If you like the woodsy area of your birdhouse, don't feel like you have to do this step, but it's, I always kind of build a primer and then I go on top of it with a little bit more. But again, if you like your birdhouse the way it is, you don't have to go back to touch it up. So white, you don't have to clean your brush. Brown, maybe tap some off. Add some brown sweeps. You don't have to clean it out. A tiny bit of black paint, tiny, 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 tiny. Because a little bit of black paint goes a long way. Add some. And again, I'm just kind of sweeping. It's 
building another layer on top. And if you want, you can add water again. This should give it a little bit of a better coverage. And then you can go back to white, brown, or black if you need to go darker or lighter. I'm constantly moving my brush, making sure everything looks nice and clean. If you get some on the heart area, no problem. Just block it out with some black paint. Scoop up from the bottom. A little bit cleaner and a little bit more white you can go back and forth between those three as much as you want to get the wood looking exactly how you like down a little bit All right. there is a little bit of like a shadowy area that um, you can build underneath the roof get this a little bit cleaner I'm just gonna go back and to a little bit more brown a little bit more black tap a lot of it off onto my paper towel so not too dark Underneath the roof, I'm just going to sweep some of that darker brown. So a little bit of brown, a little bit of black. Tap some off onto your paper towel. And then go where the roof area is where there's a little bit less light hitting it. You can always add more water to kind of get that moving a little bit more. And it'll kind of clean up the edges as well. And down here, underneath the roof a little bit too. So just a little bit of brown and black working underneath the roof area. Work some of that down, it got too thick. I always get so sucked into this part. I always just want to mess with it over and over again. So be sure to find yourself a good stopping point with the wood. We are going to start building out in just a moment too. So we are going to build the, the little post that comes out underneath. In just a moment. All right. So with my small brush, I'm going to draw the shape of the post first, and then I can go in there and fill it in with the black, brown, and white. All right. So maybe give your, your house, uh, your birdhouse a couple minutes to dry. But I'm going to start off with my black paint. So black paint, just a little bit. Tap some off on your paper towel. The point of the heart to come down a little bit and then off to the right. And you're just going to make a straight line. And then you're going to come down. 
and make another straight line and then I have the two knee. Don't go off on the edge, you want to give a little bit of room from the edge of the birdhouse. And then make maybe four or five lines coming down with the black. And you don't have to clean your brush, you can just go straight to that brown, tap on your paper towel, and then go over the black line a little bit too, the little outline so you soften it. And just fill up the rest with brown. So I went over my black line and I just kind of went down with my brown. Then you don't have to clean your brush. You can go to the white, maybe tap some up on your paper towel so you don't have too much on there. And then again, just kind of sweeping down. You don't have to go over your black and brown line anymore. If you do need to soften these little sweeps, you can add water to your brush. You don't want to see a harsh outline around that shape. So you can cover up just a little bit. There you go. And then with whatever you have like left on your small brush, this is the part where we're gonna kind of clean up our heart a little bit and make it look like you can go inside. So I'm gonna take that black and brown and white that's on my small brush, maybe tap some off onto my paper towel. I'm gonna go on the inside, on the left, I'm just gonna come in a little bit with the excess and just kind of sweep down all the way to the point. So I came in a little bit and I came all the way to the point. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to my brush, tap it on the paper towel, it's a little bit more dry. And then on this bottom part, I'll just add a little bit of white. Maybe sweep it up so it just kind of fades away into the rest of it. So it's more brown and black up here and then just a little bit more white as you come down. Alright. And you don't have to clean your brush, you can just wipe most of that off onto your paper towel. But you do go into the white next. So the right side comes um, in. So I'm gonna come in with my white. And I'll start, stop at this curve. So just a tiny bit of white. Tap some off onto your paper towel so you don't have too much. I'm just gonna have a little bit coming off on the right side. add a little bit of water to my brush so I can move that a little bit better. And if it's not bright enough, you can let it dry and come back to it. Make this side just a little bit lighter. So you have your black and brown mostly here and then you add a little bit of white and then you're just going to go up and over with your white as well. There is also some white snow on this post, so a little bit of white on my small brush. I'm just gonna sweep down it. Some of that snow coming down. You can wash and dry your small brush. I think what I'm going to do is just have a little bit of black and brown on my small brush and separate these two areas. It's just a little bit of a line. So black and brown, and I'm just going to push that pointer just to kind of show the separation of wood. So black, brown, tap it on your paper towel so you don't have too much on there. I'm just going to push down on it. And 
another thing that I think I want to kind of touch up on as well is my small brush and my white paint. Now that this is a little bit more dry, I do want to kind of make a line going side to side on top. Like so, to kind of clean up that top line. Really cute, really, really cute. I'm gonna wash and dry my small brush. But again, those are all tiny little mini steps. You are welcome to go back and touch anything up on that birdhouse. Go in there and work a little bit more with your wood grain. You wanna kind of fix the heart shape a little bit. You can use your small brush and get the outline for the heart back. I'm going back to my roof on the left side and making it a little bit brighter. But take your time. You're welcome to pause the video. But once you are done touching up everything, we are gonna go back to our cardinal. I'm gonna give the cardinal another red coat. So this is my third coat. I'm sure you'll notice that you'll need a whole lot of coverage too. So I'm gonna go back a third time and give the cardinal a third coat so it looks a little bit cleaner the third time around. And be sure your brush is nice and clean as well. All that shape filled in. You can use your smaller brush to get into those smaller areas. Be very careful. One more time with red so it cleans up a little bit more. Right. I'll give that a minute to dry and then I'll sweep a little bit of black on top. Again, you can give it another coat if you want you can white out some of those pencil lines. We will be going in there with black sweep, so don't really worry too much about it. All right. While we are letting our cardinal dry, let's go ahead and start our branches, our branches. So I'm gonna wash and dry my small brush. And again, remember the harder you push on your brush, the thicker the line becomes. So with our branches, we are just on the tippy toes of our small brush. So wash and dry. And I always have a little bit of black, a little bit of brown, and same old, same old, I tap some off. Because these delicate areas, it, it, you just want a little bit of paint on your brush. So that's why I always kind of tap it on my paper towel. And I can also see the color onto my paper towel. I just kind of went back and added some more brown. Let's start down here with our branches since our birdhouse is a little bit more dry than our cardinal. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up a little bit higher than the left corner because I know I'm gonna build those branches on the uh, top of the bottom area of the birdhouse. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make dashes first in the direction of my branches. So you'll see what I'm talking about. My branches have a little bit of a wave to them and by me making these branches, excuse me, these dashes, it kind of helps slow down my, my hand a little bit so I can kind of control which direction I want my branches to go. So a little bit of black, a little bit of brown. Made that first kind of wave and then I can go in there and connect the dashes with a nice long line. Just add a little bit of water to my brush and kind of drag that line. And I can always sweep at the end to have a kind of a thinner uh, brush stroke. And I can always come back in here and widen the left area just a little bit more where it's a little bit thicker. 
and I can go back to more brown and black. I have my second kind of area where the branch breaks off. I'll start about here, and I'm gonna make my dashes. Come up, and then down. This one kind of breaks off into a Y shape, so I'm gonna just kind of come down a little bit with that one. And then I can go in there and connect them. Sweep at the end. I'm just gonna come in and clean it up. Make sure it's nice and soft all the way through. So connect these. And you can always use a little bit of water on your brush. Tap on your paper towel a good amount of times. more brown and more black and then you have one that kind of breaks off in this area and then start over here the corner or maybe a little bit more in there you go and then come down like so start in the middle and I'll come up and this way come down so that one kind of has a Y shape too and it has this that straight line and then again connect make sure this always is kind of blending into the rest so you don't have a harsh line you can always come out a little bit to soften it up just kind of one in sweep at the end My next branch, a little bit more brown, a little bit more black on my brush. I'm going to start over here in the corner of the roof. I will come over and I'm going to make just a little bit of a wave, a little bit over the tail. I'm going to sweep at the end. And it's a little bit thicker over here where it breaks off. I'm coming out a little bit. And I will come up in the middle. A little bit of a curve. And it comes up just a little bit more. Then I can connect those dashes. My last one here, I'm going to come up. Just kind of curve a little bit to the left. And I'm gonna make sure it's a nice flow. I'm gonna sweep at the end. A little bit of brown, a little bit of black. So this is the corner of the roof. I'm gonna come down just a little bit. I'm going to come up at a diagonal with my brown and black and my small brush. And then I'm going to go in the middle and kind of break to the left. Break to the right. And I have this one as well. So again, I'm going to go in there and connect all of them. And if there is an area of branches you don't like, you can always cover it up with berries later on too, or snow. You have two good choices to cover them up with. A little bit more brown, a little bit more black on my brush, a little bit higher, and I move my cup of water out of the way. All right, 
So here's the beak right here. I'm gonna come over and down. And I'm gonna have one of mine that breaks off this way. And then one that breaks off to the left. So there's that Y shape. And then I'm gonna get like the shape of a V. But be careful with the beak. You don't wanna get too close. It's, there's one. And then there's two. And then you can start connecting them. And flicking at the end and adding water to your brush, tapping it off on your paper towel about 10 times or so. And then my last branch. So here is the wing, like the middle part where it kind of goes up and I go over to the left. So right where I made that red dot. <laughs> Maybe a little dot right there. I'm going to make a diagonal line, but it's not going to touch the top of the head. I'm going to swerve up a little bit and then over here I'm going to come down a little bit and here's that Y shape again and then I'm going to come down a little bit lower and you have another one going off towards the cardinal one down here where you kind of have a little bit of a wiggle on your brush and then this one where you come up a little bit and come up into kind of a diagonal shape. Then you can connect all those dashes. You can connect one at a time or you can build the whole thing and then go over them. Just don't give them too much time to dry. It'll be kind of hard to build that line on top of to blend the brown and black. Again, you can make this area a little bit thicker. I'll make that one. wash and dry and let my branches dry off a little bit before I build anything on top. Once that red is dry and once you have a good amount on red, of red on there, you can go in there and add some black sweeps. I'm going to do one more coat just because I'm super picky about the coats for this cardinal. I don't want to see too much of the sweepy movements. So once you are ready, again, make sure it's not too wet. I am going to just jump ahead and do mine so you can see it. But I want a nicely washed and dried small brush. I want you to put the smallest amount of black ever on your small brush and tap some off onto your paper towel because you barely want any on there. And over the pencil line, I'm gonna just kind of do a sweep. And over here, same thing. Sweep. So I'm going over my pencil line so you don't see it as much. Same down here. I'm going to come over. I'm just going to sweep a little bit. And then in the kind of belly area, push down just a little bit too hard right there. But I'll show you what you can do to kind of make that line look thinner later. And then just a little bit of black, tap some off on the paper towel. I'm very heavy-handed. Sweep some there, you can even sweep some 
off and then top of the head. I'm gonna cover up all those pencil lines, maybe some more in there. Even come inside the, the wing area. My wing is still wet, but I'm gonna show you guys anyways. Black, sweep some, and I'll just kind of add some here. Maybe add some in there. Just a little bit. Okay, mine's just moving too much. I was not patient with mine. So black, tap some off onto your paper towel. Maybe a little bit over the head area as well. And then just to kind of cover up that that line, maybe we can go in there uh, just a little bit on the belly and create another little sweep. If you want, you can even add a little bit, a little closer to the back. If any of the lines got too harsh or got kind of out of control, <laughs> you can let that dry and then just kind of go over it with some red and that'll kind of help it work together a little bit better. And it's okay if the black is still a little bit wet when you do it because a darker red does not look too shabby at all. So all I'm doing is building a little bit of red on top of the black line so it doesn't look too thick. In the areas that I might have pushed a little bit too hard on my brush. Alright. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give my cardinal an eye. Of course, we're just looking at the side view. So I am gonna mix a little bit of brown and a little bit of black and just kind of, oh, that was white. I'm gonna mix a little bit of brown and a little bit of black, excuse me, on my wax paper. So brown and black. Okay, nice. So maybe a little bit darker. I definitely want to see it on top of that black section, so make sure it's like kind of like a medium chocolatey, dark chocolatey brown, I think is a good way to describe it. And I'm just going to push down on my brush, my small brush. I'm going to go right where the point is of the beak and push down on it. So just kind of push a little bit down with your small brush. I'll let that dry and then I'll go over it with um, some white later on. It needs some good drying time. So I think I dripped some over here. I can put a snow snowflake on that top of that later, but let me try to get this off while it's still wet. Usually when things are wet, I always try to like pick them up with a nice clean brush. Pick up that area. All right. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the berries on my tree branches. So make sure those are nice and dry. Maybe start with the berries where you started with your branches because that's gonna be your driest point. So, uh, and also you are gonna want nice full areas um, in certain sections and some areas that are, um, this just has a, a few berries. So down here, I'm gonna push down on my bigger brush. And I'm just kind of jumping and making those circles. So I'm just kind of pushing down on my brush. I guess I'm using more of the side of this brush. Maybe do a test run on your paper towel, get a good feel, because you do want those berries to be nice and round. So get a good feel of how your brush works best to have those berries. And again, you're just kind of pushing down and you're moving. You don't want to be in the same section all the time. area is nice and full and if there's an area of your branches you don't like remember you can cover them up with berries okay, I'm gonna add some more again you can add as many as you like
gonna work my way up a little bit and I've ended this half. Bouncing up and down. He's all starry. So cute. Work my way up. Take your time with these and add as many as you want. And in just a moment, I will start adding snow. I'll add snow in the sky, and once the berries are nice and dry, I'll add some snow on top of the berries as well. And you definitely want to make sure that the red berries are nice and dry because you don't want them to become pink. And again, you can add as many berries as you want. You can kind of take a step back, look at it, and see if there's any spots that you might want more berries on. If you want to give the berries a second coat of red, you can. Whatever works best. And once you're done, you can wash and dry your big brush because you are going to use the back of your small brush, the back of your small brush. Find a nice clean area of white. So I think the back of my small brush was kind of iffy, so let me wipe that off. So the back of my small brush where it's nice and round, I'm gonna go in there and make dots for my falling snow. So just like a stamp, you'll push down on it. Don't worry about getting any on the berries because right now they are wet, so they're drying. Later on, we'll have some snow sitting on top. And have a nice variety of large versus small little dots. So you wanna kinda push a little bit harder sometimes, a little bit softer, they're very random. You can even have some overlapping over your birdhouse. And very random and all over the place. Once you're done, you can even use the back of your brush Make sure there's not too much on there and your white paint and you can make a little white dot make sure there's not too much on there i feel like i have a lot you can make a little white dot kind of in the corner left mine got a little bit too big i think i'm going to go in there with some brown later on i feel like i get a heavy hand sometimes but you're going to have a nice white dot inside the eyes so i'm going to let that dry and i'll go back around it in just a bit but if you have a nice tiny tiny dot Awesome. I definitely want mine to be smaller than that. Put 
think while I'm here too, I'm gonna go back and touch up this beak area and do another coat. In just a moment, I'm gonna get my small brush really nicely cleaned. I'm gonna start laying the snow on top of my branches and on top of my berries too. But again, be very careful of any shiny wet areas. I'll also put some snow on top of the cardinal as well. And this snow is not gonna be with dots. This snow is gonna be more like jumping up and down. Again, be sure that your paint is nice and dry. I'll just kind of start working on my branches first. This is my small brush. And again, I'm just gonna be jumping this time around. This time around. So I'm gonna avoid my foot red berries and just kind of do the snow on the branches first. And then I'll go back with a white. jump in with my small brush. Start putting some on the bird since it's some of the berries are still very wet. So I'll put some on the top of the tail. So you'll still see some of that tail poking through underneath. I'll put some kind of over the wing a little bit. Just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Just a tiny bit on the back. And then make sure your beak is dry. I think mine might still be a little bit wet, but you want to also put a little bit on the beak. And then once the berries are dry, maybe start in those areas that you see a little bit of a drier berry. And you can start building the, the snow on top of those. It doesn't have to be all of them, but you want a good amount. If you get any red on there, maybe wipe it off on your paper towel. So you don't continue to drag that, the red and white paint. I'm just going to sit on top of the cherries, pretty much where they fall, the snow falls. All right, so once you have a good amount of snow on the berries, I'm going to show you how to fix the eye if the dot got a little bit too big. So I'm going to wash and dry my small brush. I'm going to grab a little bit of brown and a little bit of black. Just a little bit of both. I'm just going to go around the eye a little bit. Maybe pat some off on your paper, paper towel if you have any room. And then let's check it out. So I'm just going to go around it. And tap it out just a little bit. And I'm going to try again my best to make a smaller white dot. So I'm gonna clean the back of my brush. Make sure there's just a little bit on the back. So tiny, tiny bit. Do a quick little practice run too over here. Grab that again. I think that should be okay. Maybe give your brown and black a little bit more time to dry. Much, much better. Tiny little dot. So if your dot in the eye did get a little bit bigger, no problem. Just let it dry for a little bit longer and then you can go back on top of it. And if you still feel like it's too big, you can just kind of work your way up and then build back on top of it if you need to. 
otherwise your cardinal painting is done thank you so much artists for joining us again you can go back and add as much snow as you like on top of the berries take your time and thank you so so much again for joining us i hope you have a beautiful winter season